A Kambach is a car body style that derives from the research of the German aerodynamicist Wannerbald Cam in the 1930s. The design calls for a body with smooth contours that continues to a tail that is abruptly cut off. This shape reduces the drag of the vehicle. Comeback is an American term. In Europe, the design is generally known as a cam tail or K tail. History Paul Jarret experimented and developed streamlined car body work in the 1920s. His innovative body design featuring a low-profile teardrop shape with a long tail minimized the air resistance of passenger cars. Better highway systems being built in the 1930s called for higher automobile cruising and top speeds. Thus, automobile designers focused on the aerodynamic characteristics of cars. Wind tunnel tests showed that a true teardrop-shaped body offered only a slight improvement in efficiency to the Chrysler airflow design. In 1935, Georg Hans Madelung, a German engineer, professor, and aircraft designer, showed that a vehicle does not need a long tapered tail at high speeds. Prior Reinhard Koenig Faxenfeld developed a body style whose tail was cut off to form a flat rear surface to reduce the air turbulence caused by the apparently streamlined but steeply raked roofs of cars that used Paul Jarry's principles. He worked on an aerodynamic design for a bus, and Koenig Faxenfeld patented the idea. In 1936, further research by the FKFS, Forschungsinstitut für Kraftfahrwesen und Fahrerg Motoren Stuttgart, under the direction of Wannerbald Cam, proved that vehicles with the so-called K or Cam tail, following Koenig Faxenfeld's lead, offered a good compromise between everyday utility and an attractive drag coefficient. In addition to aerodynamic efficiency, Wannerbald Cam also emphasized vehicle stability in his design. He proved mathematically and empirically the effectiveness of the design. The cam back, or K form, was a body with a smoothly contoured front that continues to an abrupt vertical flat surface in the rear. The earliest use of cam to describe an automobile body incorporating this design was the prototype 1940 cam coupe based on a BMW 328 chassis. The earliest mass-produced cars that used Kambach principles were the 1949-1951 Nash Air Flight in the U.S., and the 1952-1955 Borgudhansa 2400 in Europe. Aerodynamics While the realities of fluid dynamics dictate that a teardrop shape is the ideal aerodynamic form, Cam found that by cutting off flattening the streamlined end of the tear at an intermediate point and bringing that edge down towards the ground, he could gain most of the benefit of the teardrop shape without incurring such a large material, structural, and size problem. The airflow, once given the suggestion of the beginning of a turbulence eliminating streamlined teardrop tail, tended to flow in an approximation of that manner regardless of the fact that the entire tail was not there. This is called the cam effect. There is controversy about the proportions of a true cam tail. According to the classic definition the tail should be cut off where it has tapered to approximately 50% of the car's maximum cross-section, which cam found represented a good compromise. By that point the turbulence typical of flat-back vehicles had been mostly eliminated at typical speeds. Thus a minivan is not a cam back, and neither are numerous cars that have truncated tails. Automakers' use of the term comeback has diminished as CAM's principles have become more generally assimilated into modern car design. Comeback examples High performance cars The CAM tail was used on many high performance and competition cars, such as 1940 BMW 328 Mil Miglia Cam Coupe 1961 Ferrari 250 GTS WB Bredvan 1962 to 1964 Ferrari 250 GTO 1963 Aston Martin DP215 1963 to 1974 Bizzarini ISO Grifo 
1965 to 1968 Ford GT40 1965 to 1970 Aston Martin DB6 1968 to 1973 Ferrari 365 GTB4 1968 to 1976 Ferrari Dino 1970 to 1975 Citroen Edem 1970 to 1977 Alfa Romeo Montreal 1972-1982 Maserati Camsen, 1968-1973 Chevrolet Corvette, mass production cars The 1971-1977 Chevrolet Vega Camback Wagon featured a cam tail in its lift gate. The 1981-1982 compact two-door hatchback version of the AMC Eagle was also named a comeback. It retained the mini-wagon look of the AMC Gremlin, but with much larger quarter glass and rear window that derived from the AMC Spirit's two-door sedan body style. Cam tails can be seen on numerous mass production cars, such as 1962-1978 Alfa Romeo Giulia, 1966-1974 Saab Sinet 2 and 3, 1969-1971 Fiat 850 Coupe and Sport Coupe, 1969-1976 Triumph DR6. 1970-1978 AMC Gremlin 1970-1986 Citroen GS 1970-1978 Datsun 240Z 260Z 280Z 1971-1989 Alfa Romeo Alfa Sud 1970-1993 Alfa Romeo Spider 1971-1977 Chevrolet Vega Comeback Wagon 1971-1973 Ford Mustang 1974-1991 Citroen CX 1979-1982 AMC Eagle Sedan 1984-1991 Honda CRX 1985-1996 Auto Bianchi Lancia Y10 1991-1998 Mazda MX-3 1999-2005 Audi A2 2001-2008 Volvo S60 2004-2009 Citroen C4 Coupe, 2011-present Hyundai Veloster. Several automakers including American Motors and General Motors have publicized certain models with truncated tails as comebacks, even though they do not meet the classic 50% cross-section definition, i.e., the AMC AMX GT and Pontiac Firebird-based Type K concept cars. Hybrid mass production cars as the cam tail's low drag helps improve fuel consumption. It features on hybrid cars designed for maximum economy. For example, 2000-2006 Honda Insight, 2004-present Toyota Prius, 2010-present Honda Insight, 2011-present Honda CRZ.